in this Nonsense Wars production, I look at how well my existing GBC modules work with large batches. Something I have wanted to try ever since building my variable batch module. After debugging the Tiny Wheel 1.1, I evaluated 10 older modules. Uh, unfortunately, I could only do this subjectively and I will cover them from worst to best. Despite the title, the batches actually contain slightly less than 30 balls because the expanding ramps can't quite handle a full load on anything less than perfectly level ground. The extensible chain lift consists of a large tooth feeding single balls onto small teeth in a narrow channel. To be fair, none of these modules handled the large batches outright poorly, but I felt this lift handled them the worst. Despite the dedicated agitator, its unsynchronization with the lift and the curve shape of the input mean that balls miss steps very often and the module can take a long time to empty 30 balls, even if I don't think it can outright jam. The wave stepper mates steppers and rockers to create a rolling wave action. I noted in that module's video that it should actually have very good throughput, but the small input area combined with the high mechanism latency mean that the former can overflow easily with 30 ball batches. I could extend said input area, but I would rather keep the end-to-end -end symmetry and thus the module gets a fairly low ranking. The extensible tower uses a large single step to spiral balls up the inside of the tower. It has an agitator connected to the step, and I consider this a feature since it keeps them synchronized. This means the tower misses fewer balls than the chain lift and subsequently achieves a higher throughput and lower latency. I think super large batches could still cause balls to arc, but I haven't seen it happen recently, so I'll call it rare enough. The fan is a custom implementation of the pretty typical GBC wheel lift. Its blades agitate the input directly, so it doesn't miss much, and it gets pretty decent throughput. Nonetheless, a very full bin can cause the fan to pop balls and maybe even jam, and that brings its ranking down. Furthermore, the module really needs to have shields placed on the upside, or balls can spill over that side uh, regardless of input fill level. The split level stepper has parallel steps with less throughput, but more lift compared to conventional perpendicular steps. I thought this would do well, but the module misses more often than anticipated with a full input since balls can only enter the step chain from one place. That being said, I can easily speed up the module by changing the M motor or the 1 to 5 gearing, but as tested, I won't give it a higher ranking. The shared power version of my 10x10 10 10 stepper contains the same single step and remains the smallest possible in-spec GBC module. It also handles the 30 ball batches just fine. The wave stepper has the same input area, but the 10x10 has more input depth, and that makes all the difference. 
It also doesn't need shields nearly as badly as the fan, but balls can occasionally roll off the sides without them when the step crests. The mechanical reverser mover uses just that to transport balls horizontally and vertically. The rest of the modules, including this one and the 10x10 stepper, all handle 30 ball batches fine, and I subsequently need to rank them by other factors. Especially after sitting for a while, the mover doesn't seem to have the best reliability, and the motor wire still gets caught without some finagling, uh, preventing this module from ranking any higher. The not scissor lift uses two interconnected four bar linkages to push balls straight up. As an older design, the module has simple gates rather than the limited gate of the mover and relies on the size of the lift to control ball flow. It has a very high theoretical and practical throughput, but a full lift seems almost too heavy for the mechanism to raise properly, and others who have built copies from my instructions have needed to make modifications to get it to work. The multi-stepper joins three different stepper mechanisms with a unifying drivetrain. The entire input agitates and feeds balls into a stream. Unlike the split level stepper, this loading mechanism almost never misses and should neither jam nor get overwhelmed. This module only gets beat by the next one because I don't like the design as much and I've actually already taken it apart. The Pacellier linkage lift demonstrates its namesake mechanism, but fundamentally constitutes a giant stepper. As such, the module basically can't jam, and its large step and deep input give it high throughput and no chance of overflowing despite the relatively long cycle time of the mechanism. All things considered, I felt that this module handled the 30 ball batches better than any of the others, uh, even if the previous few came close. Ironically, this is probably the next module I will dismantle. I also want to comment on the variable batch tester itself. The module runs fine up to 30, but I discovered that larger batches can regularly cause balls to arc, uh, probably thanks to the slow movement and small travel of the agitating steps. Generally, I wouldn't consider this a problem since the spec only goes to 30, but the bug kind of defeats the purpose of having a reservoir. I'm not entirely sure how to fix it without adding another step and weakening the main crank, but maybe I will look at it in a future revision. Finally, I did not test the auto dozer or the slide and spin on the whole as their inputs are the only relevant components. Going forward, I hope to test all new modules in this manner as mechanisms that can handle 30 balls should have no problem handling smaller batches or streams. On that note, this is the end of the video, so have a nice day.